Today, we're gonna dive into why Jack Hughes is the next Patrick Kane and how you can learn from his game-changing skills to take your game to the next level. Now, Jack has been making waves in the hockey world, and what he really represents is a evolution of what Patrick Kane brought to the game. Now, Patrick Kane, being an American-born player, really evolved the game when it came to his stick handling. He was able to stick handle at a slower speed while maintaining his lateral mobility by combining his hands and his feet at a level that we hadn't seen before. And young players began emulating that to improve their own stick handling. So really combining their hands and their feet to really pick up what could be possible. Now, of course, Kane had a whole bunch of other skills like the ability to read the game well, play well tactically, and that was next level too. But the skill that he developed, that he evolved was the hand. Jack Hughes, being an American-born player, he's representing another evolution of the game where he's combining hands and his skating. He's taking skating to a whole new level in the NHL. Primarily, we always hear people talk about edges, but he has a whole new level of looseness with his ankles and mobility and freedom in his ankles that allows him to get more edge in the ice than most players. That allows the rest of his body to be loose. So because his ankles articulate more than most players, his rest of his body can be nice and loose. And that allows his hands and feet to extend and combine into more fluid, more soft and subtle movements than a lot of other players in the NHL. So that is something that he is bringing to the game. So if you wanna learn how Patrick Kane evolved the game and how Jack Hughes is evolving the game, we start with combining hands and feet like Patrick Kane. And that's something that we teach in the downhill skating system and the precise puck control system. And then if you wanna learn how to take your skating and puck control to the next level, like Jack Hughes, uh, that's also something that we teach in the downhill skating system, particularly ankle articulation. So if you have one takeaway from this video, it should be that you should continue to work on your ankle articulation, not just your shin angle so that you can have what we call aggressive heel pressure at Train 2.0, but also your ankle articulation laterally so that you can improve your Y angle so that your edges can grip the ice more. And that's what Jack Hughes does, and that really represents a huge evolution. So that ankle flexibility is something that not just American players, but players all over the world are going to be emulating to add to their game. So that's what you can take away and add to your game is tying your hands and feet together and also your ankle articulation, doing your best to maximize that. So if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more hockey mechanics content, hit that like subscribe and turn on those notifications to get more hockey mechanics breakdowns just like this sent to you every week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.